Okay, so once again, welcome back to video part three, how to make an opacity mask and creating a grungy effect. So this is what we're gonna do. Now, uh, the thing we wanna do is, I'm just gonna select these, um, these texture and I'm gonna make it white. I'm gonna apply the feel of white. You can see that it's white. You can't really see it here. Uh, and the thing we want is we want this kind of effect on the text, right? We want to, this is exactly what we want, sort of copying this a few times. And we want to get that little grungy effect. But there's a problem, right? This is white and it's, it seems to be cool with it. If I go Command Y, you can see all the shapes there. And even worse, if I want to play with some color, it really doesn't work. It really, it's not just in the text, it's, it's not happening. So I'm just going to delete this one and bring this one back to black. Now that's why masking is so important. We're going to have to deal with masking. From principles of Photoshop, you know that what we're going to do with masking is we're going to use this texture to show and hide bits and pieces of that image. In other words, I want some parts to be hidden and I want some parts to be revealed. And the way I'm going to control that is by drawing with white or with black. That's why we make this texture black and white only, which at the moment it's just black. How do we do that? I want you to select the text first. Uh, go to the window drop down menu and I want you to go to transparency. Click on transparency and I'm just going to dock it out really quickly and it looks like that. All right, I'm just going to have these two together. This is where all the magic is going to happen. You can see this little icon there that says there's, there's no there's no mask. You can have a button that says make mask and two options clip and invert mask. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say yeah make mask. Now when you do make mask this option of clip and invert mask activate correct and then you can see that we in here we've got the word. There's a link button and then there's black. Black means that everything's gonna be hidden. That's why we can't see the word. Can you see it? Exactly, we can't. <laughs> that's, but it's there. If I go Command Y, you can see the word is there. What we need to do is, and that's why it's quite important, these little clip option. You can actually toggle between them. You can click whether if you want to play with the text or with the, the, the grunge word or with the mask itself. As soon as you click the mask, I want you to see highlight the mask and click on tick clip. So it reverses to white. In other words, we want, instead of a black mask, we want a white mask because that's where we're going to place that texture. Now I'm going to click back into my grunge. Yeah, Remember, there's two levels. One is the word and the other one is the mask. And you toggle between them by clicking on the icon. It's very important that you know where you're clicking. This affects the word. This affects the mask. Now, I'm going to go back to the word. The first little thing here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select my texture. Yeah? I'm going to cut it. Command X. So it's going to be in the clipboard. Select the word. And guess where we're going to paste it? <laughs> That's right. We're going to click on the mask. And can you tell me the color of the mask, or of the texture? Exactly. It was black. So every place we put the texture, it's going to hide that bit of type. So I'm going to go Command V to paste it. And you can see how now the mask gets updated. I'm going to move these around. I am drawing in the mask. I'm not doing anything to the word. I can rotate these. I can treat this as a normal vector object, but make sure you're in the mask. So wherever this is black, yeah, you can see wherever this is black, it's going to hide that on the word. In other words, wherever my texture touches the characters, it's going to hide them. It's going to hide that. So you can see, if I just go, you can make that super big. Or, even better, I can make it really small and make a few copies. So maybe I'm just going to play that one sort of, I think I like it down the bottom, like that. Obviously, legibility is quite important. I just, as you know, so I've got my grunge, 
sort of thing happening. I'm going to rotate. As soon as I, I can copy these as many times as I want, the only thing I need to be aware of is that I'm exactly in the mask. That's all you need to do. So you can see now, um, I've created this little grunge thing. I can toggle them around. I can resize them if I want to. Anything I want. Uh, I can have different textures, I can have different shapes, different things. Uh, make sure you, once you've got that sort of thing happening, I'm just purpose of demonstration here, um, go back to the word, okay? As soon as you go back to the word and you go command Y, you can't really see the images there. You know, you can't see the textures. The textures are part of your mask. It's really important that you keep that in mind. Now, it's really easy to manipulate. Let's have a look what happens if I place a color background. So let's make it, let's put it on the back. That's pretty cool. So you can see now it's actually transparent thanks to the mask that we created. I can actually, what I'll do really quickly is I can go to my transparency again, go to my mask, copy one of those textures, go back to my grunge, yeah, and paste the texture. And I'm going to use this texture, if we did it properly, as a background, part of the background as well. So I'm just going to add it a little bit of a color in here. So what I'll do is let's select this color, maybe we can add a bit of a multiply or something. No, don't like it. Screen, make it twenty percent, make it thirty so you guys can see it on the screen. I don't know, just playing with this as I go, not too obvious. But then I can actually place it as my little grungy sort of effect. Put it, put it somewhere there. Send it to the back. Send that to the back as well. So you can see there, we've got a little bit of a very subtle grungy effect. And then let's put some type simple. Let's call it a simple effect. Center that, let's make it quite larger. And let's resize it. Not really mm, super happy, but you know what I mean. So you start to have this quite cool, interesting, grungy effect happening here in Illustrator cool thing is, once again, if you wanted to change the word because it's a mask, this is completely editable. So you can call this Blue Melon. And you can see that the B doesn't have and the N doesn't have anything because the mask is not that big. You can see the mask, it's not that big. So if you want to have the whole document with a mask, it's fine and you can type freely. Cool thing about these guys it's completely editable, it's resolution independent, so you could print these at any size, any way, anyhow. Hopefully you've enjoyed this really quick way of doing an opacity, what is called it's an opacity mask here in Illustrator. And I hope to have you around once again. So don't forget to visit bluemeloundesign.com and hopefully you like our videos. See you around, bye!